experimental part. This laboratory consists of vernier meter caliper. micrometer caliper and metal objects with different shape and sheet of plastic starting with vernier meter there is main scale on the top and vernier scale on the bottom the number of vernier scale division is 50 divisions you can see the least count on the right of vernier scale One division of main scale is 1 mm. When you measure the object, you must check the zero reading. We found that the zero lines of main scale and vernier scale are relatively straight. So, the zero reading is zero. We can calculate the least count, as we know that the length of main scale is 1 mm, and the number of vernier scale division is 50 divisions. For example, we will measure the large metal of rectangular shape. We will measure the width of object. You can define the width of object by yourself. Use the outside caliper make the contact to the surface of object, then lock the screw of vernier caliper. There are another measuring parts such as inside caliper and depth caliper. So, how to read the scale? We will firstly read the main scale. We will use the zero line of vernier scale as pointer. Now the zero line of vernier scale point to the line of 27, so there is 27 mm from the main scale. Then we will find a single line on the vernier scale that relative straight or coincide with a single line on the main scale. When you read the scale, your eyes must be aligned in the same level of the scale. So, we found that line number 4 of vernier scale coincide with the line on the main scale. So, there are 4 divisions of vernier scale. One division of vernier scale is least count that is 0.02 mm. Then 0.02 time 4 is 0.08 mm. The actual value from the vernier meter is the value from main scale plus the value from vernier scale, which is 27 plus 0.08, that is 27.08 mm. This measured value is the width of the large metal of rectangular shape. For the inside caliper, we may use to measure the diameter of the internal hole of cylindrical object. We will put the inside caliper into the hole, then translate the movable part of vernier meter. So, the inside caliper will touch the edge of hole. The scale that we read is the inside diameter of cylindrical metal shape. For example, the main scale that we can read is 9 mm and find the coincide lines on vernier scale, which is the line that pass number 5 by 1 division. The number 1 on the vernier scale equal to 5 divisions. So, the total divisions are 26 divisions. Then 26 divisions times 0.02 mm equal to 0.52 mm. The actual value from vernier meter will be 9 plus 0.52, that is 9.52 mm, which is the inside diameter of the cylindrical shape. Other part of vernier meter is depth caliper. We can put the depth caliper into the hole of cylindrical shape, then translate the vernier meter until the tip of caliper touch the bottom of the hole. Then we can read the scale using the same method. This value is the inside height of cylindrical shape.
and this is the vernier meter caliper. A second instrument is micrometer caliper. When you use micrometer caliper, you must carefully use it because this instrument is quite sensitive. First, you must unlock the instrument, do not rotate the thimble when the instrument is locked. After unlocking the instrument, slowly rotate the thimble. You can see the caliper part or spindle, which is the part that used to measure the object. There are three scale. The main scale. Circular scale. And vernier scale. Before the measuring, we must read the zero reading. Without any object between the caliper, we slowly turn the screw at the end of the thimble until the end of spindle makes contact with the anvil. And the ratchet clicks once or twice. Don't try to make a hard force or tight the spindle. Log the micrometer, then read the scale. This is how to read the zero reading. Here you can see that the reference line and zero line of circular scale are not relatively coincide. This means that there are offset value or zero reading. Here the reference line is below the zero line of circular scale. Then the zero reading is negative value. Moreover, the reference line does not pass the first line of circular scale yet. So, the zero reading is less than 0.01 mm. Then we will find the single line of vernier scale that coincide with circular scale. In this example, the line number 2 of vernier scale coincide with the circular scale. But the reference line is below the zero line of circular scale and the zero reading will be a negative value. So, we have inversely read the scale. Then the line number 2 of vernier scale mean the line number 8 of vernier scale, which is 8 divisions of vernier scale. One division of vernier scale is 0.001 mm, eight divisions will be 0.008 mm. So, the zero reading is minus 0.008 mm, in this case. This is the zero reading that you must check before you use the measuring instrument. Now, we will measure the object, unlock first, then slowly turn the thimble outward. We are going to measure the thickness of plastic sheet, instead of a sheet of paper. We put the plastic sheet in between the spindles, then slowly turn the thimble inward until you can hear the click about two or three clicks. Then lock before reading the scale. First, read the main scale using the edge of circular scale. As you can see, it's about one millimeter for the main scale. Then using the reference line to read the circular scale. Here, it points to the circular scale close to 17 divisions, but it just as close, so the actual division number is 16 divisions of the circular scale. One division of circular scale is 0.01 mm, then 16 divisions is 0.16 mm. Then read the vernier scale value if you have to find a single line of vernier scale that coincide with a single line of circular scale. In this case, the line number 9 of vernier scale coincide with the line of circular scale. One division of vernier scale is 0.001 mm, then 9 divisions is 0.009 mm. So, the value that read from micrometer now is 1 plus 0.16 plus 0.009, which is 1.169 mm. Don't forget to subtract such value by the zero reading. In this case, you may get 1.169 minus a negative 0.008, which is 1.177 mm. This is the actual thickness of plastic sheet. Do not use the data from video, do the experiment by yourself.
Teacher will check your data on the report sheet in the class. Student can calculate the uncertainties by read the topic of measurements and uncertainties in the page D about the front of laboratory book.